probably there's been no greater intervention in the history of human health than the uh, advent and utilization of antibiotics for cure of infectious disease. So it's had a tremendous impact and really sparked uh, the development of uh, antimicrobial agents, not only against bacteria, which penicillin was the prototype for, uh, but also now against fungi and viruses, uh, which plague uh, humans throughout the world as well. In 1942, uh, Ann Miller, who was uh, the wife of the uh, athletic director at Yale at the time, uh, was ill in New Haven Hospital with uh, streptococcus infection in her bloodstream. She, uh, at the time, there was no antibiotics available and she had had fevers for several weeks. Uh, and then uh, in an effort to try to help her, uh, the chair of physiology, John Fulton at the time, who had a relationship with Howard Florey in the UK, who was developing penicillin for mass uh, distribution uh, during World War II, uh, was able to actually procure uh, some penicillin for uh, uh, Miss Miller uh, through uh, Dr. Flory in the UK. It was shipped to the United States uh, through uh, Merck uh, and then uh, brought by a uh, special messenger to uh, New Haven for use in Ann Miller. It actually arrived on a Saturday morning. Uh, she was administered the drug for the first time and was the first uh, patient whose life was saved with penicillin uh, in the United States. The next day, she her, uh, had a complete reduction in her fever and she survived to the age of 90, uh, having passed away actually in the year 2000. And after that, uh, uh, Francis Gilman Blake, who was the dean of the medical school, actually um, initiated clinical trials on several hundred patients with penicillin after that. Uh, and it became, of course, then m much more widespread use of the, at the United States since, since then. Well, I think most of the most productive efforts in trying to reduce the global burden of infectious disease is by improving the diagnosis, having more rapid diagnosis, and having more widespread access to uh, antimicrobial agents uh, and more widespread access to vaccines. So the latter two are uh, certainly highlighted in the HIV epidemic and in the epidemic of uh, drug-resistant tuberculosis, which is continuing to spread uh, worldwide. So uh, our efforts on, base of, uh, on, the, on behalf of our nation and other nations in gaining access to antiretroviral therapies globally, particularly in sub-Saharan Africa, has made a huge impact. Uh, and uh, more rapidly diagnosing uh, HIV and diseases like tuberculosis have made a huge impact in uh, reducing the total global burden of those diseases. Mm -hmm.